YouTube, it's a survivalist 247 and today we're back here in American Truck Sim, and we're back here for our second episode, or second trailer review, I should say, and today we have the Manac 48-foot flatbed trailer. So, uh, I've put a I put together a couple little clips uh, showing off the trailer and all its loads, so we'll take a look at that in a minute, but uh, today we're going to be using the um, AMV Thomas T660 uh, edited to fit 1.5 by Josh... Um, Josh is the man, he's been editing, uh, AMB, he's been editing Thomas's trucks and working on 1.5, so dude, you're the man. Keep it up. But anyway guys, let's jump straight into taking a look at all the features and stuff on this trailer. So, 3, 2, 1, cue the footage. Alright YouTube, and we're back. I do apologize. You guys are like, what the hell? Why are we here now? Um, my last recording, the audio is gone for some reason. I, I went to go render this and edit this, and I'm like, holy crap, why is the rest of the footage out of audio? But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy that little montage. Okay, this guy's pulling in for the way station. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and go ahead and finish this 141 mile journey, and let's get rolling. So, I've got some stuff to talk about with the trailer. Um, I do still have the problem with my game stuttering. Really wish it wouldn't. It's quite annoying. I can't figure out why. But, on the brighter side, we do have news about Zen coming out for AMD's new Zen CPUs, and I'm going to be getting the top of the line Zen CPU. So that'll be good. And uh, I do have a video coming out hopefully soon. I do had a I do have a Euro Truck video recorded, but there's something wrong and it won't render properly and I hope it doesn't screw this up as well or I might have to go back to my old uh, Windows Movie Maker methods, which will be terrible. But I'm going to try not to do that. But uh, I do have some new stuff coming out uh, about my recording software. So Hopefully you guys have noticed that the recording uh, is a little bit better and that we're now recording at 60 FPS instead of 30 because uh, I've got some some big news for you guys and it involves AMD but uh, you guys all you tech savvy youtubers not youtubers but viewers will appreciate this and what the hell is this guy doing thank you
There we go. Alrighty. I do apologize for the random freezes in the game, guys. I can't do anything about it at this moment. I think I'm peeking out on my RAM usage and it's bumping like that. I've tried screwing with it and I can't get it to work. But anyway, let's talk about this trailer. So, um, as you guys should probably know by now, this is the Manac 48 foot flatbed. Um, I'm not a, I don't know who created it. I'm sorry, I don't remember. I'll leave a link in the description for this beautiful trailer. So uh, let's go over let's go over some of the pros of this trailer. So it's a it's another flatbed. Yeah, I know we've got enough 48 footer flatbeds. We got the Phantom and all that, and it's that's I mean some of you guys might look look at that and be like ew, but you know what? This is a decent. This is a really nice quality trailer. Um, not saying the Phantom isn't, but uh, it's different. Um, the Phantom, yeah, you got your standard steel, aluminum, whatever trailer. It's just that's not very appealing to me. It's gray. It's so bland. This is an eye-popping, bright-ass red trailer. I think it, it really catches the eye, and I think it looks good behind a lot of these work trucks. Now, some of you guys might be like, no, dude, I want to be a show truck and have a hollow flatbed. I want chrome rims and shit. Well, that's what the Phantom, the Fontaine Phantom's for. Go have fun with that. This is if you want to hook up a trailer, you got some dirty steel rims, you got 500 horsepower, and you want to pull some shit. Let's go. I'll get on to why this trailer doesn't really meet that need either, though, because uh, it's a little sad, but we'll go over that in a little bit. But uh, it's a nice trailer. Um, I do have some complaints, but let's let's stick with the pros. I really like the chrome. Um, the chrome on this is, uh, it's very, it's very, very reflective. It's very well reflective, and it's not as dark as Viper 2's chrome, and I have to say I prefer his chrome. But I really like this. It's a little bit brighter. And honestly, I wish some of the trucks would have some nice chrome like this. And I'll show you guys here in a second what I mean. If I could ever get around this damn trick and truck, so I don't want to hit anything. So if you guys can see the, um... Oh, what is that called? Oh, I feel like an idiot. bulkhead um, you guys will see that it's very reflective I really like that get over here in the right lane it's very nice shiny chrome that's nice and so is the back it's a really nice chrome I really like that um, so I really like it it's a good working style trailer it's got nice wood grain textures it's not it's a little more reflective than I'd like it to be the trailer itself but that's all right um, some complaint well also, the LEDs look very, very nice. Really cool. But, uh, now we gotta get into some of the cons. So, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give it to you straight, guys. I'm not doing this to just pump up some people's trailers. I'm not doing this to make people look good. I'm doing this to give you guys an honest opinion. And, oh, from what it looks like, this has been fixed. So, it used to be the case that, um, when you look at the straps, you can't see them from the inside. They would kind of just disappear. But it seems that has been fixed. So that's nice. I really like that. What hasn't been fixed is the weight. So if you guys were hoping to pull that big pipe and be pulling around 50,000 pounds, well, you're shit out of luck, I'm sorry to say. And that's because all of them, every single one of these trailers, weighs 25,529 pounds. Every single one of them. I gotta say, that is the biggest downside to this trailer, and I really wish the author would fix it. Whoa, hold on. Having some earphone, headphone difficulties. Um, a little faulty with this truck is that the jake brake on the inside doesn't work. I'm not sure what's up with that. But, um, the biggest complaint for me for this trailer is the fact that it does not have a different weight. And I think that even the empty one weighs this much. It's bad. And I, I really wish the author would fix that. Hopefully, they do update it. Um, another thing. I would really appreciate it, since this is a really nice trailer, with, it already has chrome on it, that there was an option for chrome rims. Dude, I get it. These are really nice steel rims. I gotta give them that. They're nice. I like them. But, 
if a chrome if a trailer has chrome on it and it's got steel wheels that just really doesn't make sense to me if you want i i would like to see like two different options like maybe with the bulkhead like with some steel um plating on it instead of that chrome some stainless steel like industrial style nice looking stainless steel to match with your steel rims but i would like to see if there's chrome on the head on the bulkhead and on the rest of the trailer i would like to see some nice matching chrome rims that was a nice that would be a nice feature but that doesn't show up here on this trailer which is a little sad but it's all right um i do have to give the guy credit he has some pretty cool loads on here especially this one i didn't ever think i'd be hauling bridge blocks i do wish they would be heavier um, like I said, nice, nice steely rims. Not bad. And I mean, besides that, there's not much else to talk about about this trailer. It's not a special trailer or anything like that. It's just a decent working class trailer that I wish had some more custom amenities, like option for chrome rims, option for steel plated bulkheads and stuff like that, S stuff of that sort. I wish that was an option. And if the person who creates the trailer watches this, dude, I'm telling you, if you had that, I can guarantee you this would uh, this would be a little bit more popular of a trailer. I think that's uh, something this game is missing: a more customizable trailer, a more a trailer more suited to what you want it to do than um, rather what the author wants it to do. And I think that's what this game is really missing, not just from mod authors, but from the game itself, is a purchasable trailer that you can trick out how you want it. You can get matching rims on your trailer that you want on your truck. It's I think that would be really interesting, pretty cool. I'm a little sad that you can't really go owner-operator in this game. That would be a really cool feature. SCS, please, if you're listening, owner-ops would be awesome. I'm just saying. But, hopefully, you guys are excited to see this new AMD video that I'm coming out with. Alrighty. turn and right here we're pretty close to our destination so we'll have to get this baby parked up I'm gonna try to start some truck reviews guys I'm really gonna try I would love to get some truck reviews in hopefully I'd love to get a, a truck review of a certain Mac that's coming out soon pinnacle I'd like to get a uh, give Rob his full credits where credits are due when he gets that truck truck finished I also got another Mac that I'd like to review but that ain't out yet so uh you guys will have to keep posted on that. If you guys watch until this far into the video, congrats on you. You know there's another Mac coming. I'm not going to spoil it. If you guys are adamant on uh, keeping up with Facebook, then you guys might know what I'm talking about. Pretty cool. So, let's get this baby delivered up in here and... Oh, I turned the wrong direction. Alright guys, technical difficulties. We're going to turn around. Because survivalist is an idiot. It idiotist. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and get this uh, trailer delivered here. It's actually been about half an hour for me uh, since I um, had to cut out a little bit of that clip back there. Uh, had a bit of an issue and I had to leave for a minute, but I'm back. Alrighty, so here we are at the Bitmans. Let's get this uh, baby delivered. We're going for it. Let's go. I'm not the greatest at backing into this. Um, it is a pretty tight and closed space. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. You're not only you don't uh, you're not always comfortable with how this is rolling. So, oh, we gotta turn around. Oh, this is gonna be fun.
That ain't happening the first time. Now that we've got our uh, a bit straightened out, we can go ahead and actually try to reverse on in there. So there we have it guys. So this has been the Manak 48 foot flatbed trailer review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said guys, if you would like to download this awesome trailer, the link will be in the description as always. But anyway guys, thanks again so much for watching. Please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one.